I guess I'd really love to kind of hear a little bit about your thoughts on this discussion around disruption sure. and how that relates to the notion of creativity as you've been thinking about it. Yeah, interesting discussion. I don't know if you've been following this, uh, showed up in the New Yorker a week or two ago and uh, back and forth. And um, I, there was one thing that I think all parties agree on is that maybe the word has been overused, you know, that everything that someone thinks is new, they call it a disruption as a kind of way to get people to buy into their idea or, or, or something like that. And so has it maybe been overused? Yeah, I think, I think so. And still, what I see both in the private sector and the public sector is I still see people being disrupted every day, right? And so I think uh, it behooves us all to be aware of the possibility of us being di disrupted and thinking about how we're gonna, how we're gonna defend, right? Uh, you know, there's disruptors and there's disruptees, and I think Clay Christensen would say, Christensen would say the only way to fight the disruptors is be your own disruptor, you know, out, out innovate them. And so, and sometimes this is about competition, and a lot of the stories that you hear are about a, a worthy competitor undercutting uh, someone on price. But sometimes it's about you know the world changing. You know, if you think back, uh, you know, there's a metaphor that I kind of like. Not everyone does, but the, is the <clears throat> dinosaurs. You know, you think about you call somebody a dinosaur. You know, that's not the sweetest thing you can say about them, right? <laughs> um, but lest we diss the dinosaurs too much, you know, the dinosaurs ruled the Earth for approximately 100 million years, <laughs> right? I don't think anybody could fault you for being slightly complacent if you were number one in your industry for 100 million <laughs> years. I don't know if that little dinosaur brain can even do complacency, but, you know, they've been on top so long they don't know what it's like not to be on top, right? And so maybe they get a little complacent. But... Think about what happened to the dinosaurs. Well, think about what didn't happen. The story of the dinosaurs is not a story of competition. No bigger animal came along and ate them. You know, in fact, no little animal came along and ate them piece by piece. No, what happened to the dinosaurs was nothing about competition. It was about the world changed out from under them. The world changed faster than they could adapt. And there is a, there is a cautionary tale for all of us. Because I don't know if you've noticed out there, the world changing pretty darn fast. You know, the world in general, but then the world, the, the part of the world that you spend most of your time on, you know, whether it's your industry or your, your philanthropic association, it, you know, it, it, stuff is getting reinvented all the time. And so for us as, oh, sorry, for us as individual, for us as organizations or teams, we ought to be waking up in the morning thinking, Am I changing as fast as the world outside is changing or not quite as fast? Because honestly, if we're not changing quite as fast as the world outside is changing, I'm not going to call anybody a dinosaur, but you're becoming more dinosaur-ish each day, right? And so that disruption is happening. I mean, there's, um, you know, newspapers. We were re recently consulting with a newspaper client. So part of it is they have you know, competitors, you know, like, you know, online competitors to the print publication. But part of it, the classified ad portion of newspapers has been demonetized, right? There's not a competitor there. They got to reinvent themselves to deal with the fact that a good part of their revenue stream just went away and it's never coming back. You know, there's a session, I think it's tomorrow morning, about libraries. You know, if you work, you know, if you're associated with a library, a public library in America today, you got to be thinking about reinvention. Right? It's not really a competitor per se, but got to be reinventing if you want to if you want to keep the great tradition of libraries we've had going all the way to Benjamin back to Benjamin Franklin, right? And so disruption is happening. You could talk about individual cases. Did you know the did U.S. Steel get fully disrupted or not disrupted? I don't really care about new US, care about U.S. Steel, but I do care about the, the the companies I work with and the teams I work with, and they seem like they're all in the process of being disrupted if they don't keep up their pace of innovation.